Hello my loves, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 13. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're already on day 13, like we're over half the way there now. But I'm gonna kick things off today with the Christmas joke of the day. <laughs> and it's a knock knock joke, I actually thought it was really funny. Okay, <clears throat> knock knock, who's there? Interrupting Santa into ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Well, even when I read that, I was like, oh, that's a really funny one because it interrupted the inter, inter. Anyway, that's my Christmas joke of the day. And then I realized that I've been so bad at um, doing this advent calendar. And I don't know who else is following along apart from Lavina and Anne, but I've got two days to catch up on. I think it's because I don't have a sweet tooth, which is ironic considering today's video is going to be a festive afternoon tea. If this was like chips or something or crisps, then I'd remember every day. So day 11, we have an angel. Christmas angel and this one is a Christmas bell and considering we're doing a festive afternoon tea today today's question of the day is are you more of a sweet or a savory person and depending on which one you pick if you could only eat one thing that's sweet or savory for the rest of your life what would it be for me I'm definitely a savory person I'm editing this now and I can't resist going because I'm sweet enough <laughs> this is like a treat by the way like a side not like a main meal I would pick fries. There's this one scene in Gossip Girl, I think it's season one of the Thanksgiving episode, where Lily Fander Woodson asks the server to keep bringing out fries and to just keep them coming and every time I watch that scene I'm always like, one day I would love to be able to do that, just be like, yep, yeah, I would like a whole tray of fries and just keep them coming, keep them coming. And I love dips, like I love ketchup, I love chili sauce, I love curry sauce, I love mayonnaise, I love garlic mayonnaise, barbecue sauce. That is my question of the day today. I'm gonna head over to get some afternoon tea and I decided to go a little bit outside of actual like center of London. So like Oxford Street, Regent Street, cause it's gonna be jammed packed full of people, especially because Regent Street's gonna be pedestrianized over the next three Saturdays. And I don't think it's gonna be too busy at the Marin Oriental at the Rosebury because last time I went, they've, they're really good at distancing and you know putting measures in place and things. And then the second place, I'm gonna try and pop into Harrods. I'm gonna peek in and if it's not too busy, I'm gonna try and quickly show you around before I go to afternoon tea. But it's only gonna be a little bit of it. I'm gonna properly show you at some point over the next few weeks, hopefully, what Harrods is properly like. But again, because it's a weekend, I don't wanna go all six floors. And today's after today, I'm actually gonna show you through a series of pictures that I'm going to take at the restaurant because their backdrop's gonna be so much nicer than my studio. So today I'm wearing this beautiful headband from ASOS that I absolutely love. I bought it last year and it always makes me feel so elegant and so put together. And I just love the extra volume and the pearls. Like, look at it. It's so beautiful. I've got this red crochet dress on that I bought years ago in the sale from a brand called Dahlia and it still fits me well and it's like one of my special occasion dresses. I always feel really, really great in it and then I'm gonna wear my new dark brown leather boots. Okay, who's hungry? Let's go and get ourselves some sandwiches and sweet treats. But before we do, let's try and pop into Harrods quickly. As we head into Harrods, let's delve into a quick history lesson together. The founder of the famous department store, Charles Henry Harrod, first established a business as a draper in 1824 at Borough High Street in Southwark. This then turned into a grocery store in Stepney, East London in 1834, before he moved to Knightsbridge in London in 1849. Another fun fact I learned is that it turns out Winnie the Pooh was actually inspired by Harrods when A.A. A. Milne saw Christopher Robin play the teddy bear from the store in 1921. Thus, the iconic Pooh Bear we know and love came to be. Today is home to six floors of everything from fine jewellery, wines and spirits, fashion houses, technology, travel accessories to Christmas goods and Harrods selling festive food, hampers and gifts. Quick note, I came here after 6pm and it wasn't really busy at all so something to bear in mind. This is called the 10 minute challenge until my afternoon tea appointment so I'm going to quickly run around the first floor just to show you a taste of Harrods but this is just a little starter if you will and I just want to like run around and see as many b-roll as I can get of these beautiful fashion houses. We've got Celine, we've got Dior, we've got Prada, we've got Valentino, all of them are housed here so if you love shopping have a look. For me, I'm entirely just window shopping. <laughs> look at how beautiful the interiors are in Harrods. I feel like I'm in like a theme park or something. These are the stairs and it goes all the way up here. But look at that detailing on the ceiling. Did you know Harris had the first moving staircase in England? It was installed on November 1898 and there were staff waiting at the top when you arrived with brandy and smelling salts to terrify shoppers after that ordeal. Unfortunately, I didn't have this experience, but I did have a very good one on the third floor looking at all things homeware. 
We saw some baubles at Paper Chase and then we saw a £620 vintage teapot from Fortnum Mason. And now I'm about to show you a £34,000 peacock called Lord Peacock that was hand painted in Italy. So if you've got £34,000 lying around and you're in the market for a Lord Peacock centerpiece, then I've got just the piece for you. I didn't even want to sit on the sofas or touch anything because of the price tag, but despite the cost, it didn't stop me from cracking out a few puns. I am lighting up just looking at these displays. <laughs> I'm five minutes into filming and so far, so good. <laughs> there is a vast amount of homeware at Harrods. <laughs> if anyone is working with a budget of £20,000 for the sofa, then I've got just the thing. And you know what the best thing is? Got 15% off. That is all we had time for folks for today's little taster of Harrods. Now back to Mandarin Oriental and uh, yeah, Shu, are you there? Yes, yes, voiceover Shu is here. A few fun facts about Mandarin Oriental. This five-star hotel is located in the heart of Knightsbridge and the north side of the hotel offers sweeping panoramic views of Hyde Park. For those who love shopping, it's a stone throws away from places such as Harvey Nichols, Harrods and Sloan Street. And for long-time viewers, you might remember my birthday meal in the Asian flagship store in Hong Kong a couple of years ago. And it's the oldest and one of the most respected hotels on Hong Kong Island. There are multiple bars and restaurants at the Hyde Park branch but the one we'll be heading to today is the Rosebury Lounge, a tea salon and all-day dining lounge that combines its Victorian roots with contemporary touches throughout its decor. I booked for the festive afternoon tea for £62 per person, but for champagne and other supplements, this will be an additional charge. Look, I found my tea. This is the Menghai 2012 Canton Tea and it's cooked shoe. <laughs> We've got some earthy, tobacco, woody, leather taste. I'm also eyeing up the lychee rose noir which is a black tea with lychee fruit essence, rose petals and it's sweet and floral or I love me a genmai cha so maybe a genmai cha with some toasted brown rice from Japan. Starting the festive afternoon tea with freshly baked cranberry raisin and plain scones. This was accompanied by Devonshire clotted cream with strawberry jam, rose petal jelly and ginger preserve. These were warm, beautifully glazed and very Moorish. When it comes to scones, do you like to put the clotted cream first and then the jam, or the jam and then the clotted cream? Moving on to the festive sandwiches, we have a selection of six different kinds including Cotswold egg and black truffle sandwiches, corned beef with mustard mayonnaise, confit duck and turkey with chestnuts, date and orange chutney, smoked and citrus poached salmon with caviar on beetroot and dill bread, prawn cocktail and avocado and roasted butternut with goat's cheese, caramelised onions and pecans. <laughs> There were six handmade pastries which were so festive and beautifully presented and these included the signature mince pies, the delicious chestnut and coffee opera with candy ginger, pineapple Christmas tree with lime, rum and cinnamon, this was really fun, the Jaffa gift with 70% dark chocolate ganache and orange which was beautiful, a spiced Santa hat with cranberry and meringue and my personal favourite, the coconut snowball with guava, mango, mint and crispy rice. I also secretly told the staff we're actually celebrating a special occasion and they very kindly arranged this beautiful treat on the house too which was very very kind of them i've not vlogged all night because i've just been enjoying all of the food to be honest but if you do have things left over you can take a doggy bag home mm -hmm. because there is a lot of food left over and there's a lot of sweets and i don't particularly have a sweet tooth but they're too pretty not to take home and very very yummy and not too sweet but yeah i'm gonna head back to the studio now the hopeless romantic in me wanted to show you this Christmas wish I saw hanging in the lobby, wishing whoever wrote this a very happy and loving marriage too. It made my heart so warm and fuzzy reading that before I went home. I am so full, now going back to the studio but that was beautiful and the surf was really good as well because we needed to upload a video whilst then the lady was helping me find a plug so yeah really really fun I am now home from afternoon tea that went on for hours and hours and hours <laughs> and I'm so full I'm so full of cakes and sandwiches but if you go there I would say that the egg and truffle sandwich from the menu is the best one out of the lot like ordered another plate of sandwiches just of that because it was really really good light but not like too overwhelming because it's truffle you know but anyway I was reading out some of your comments to yesterday's video which was the um, <laughs> realities of living alone in London one and um, thank you for enjoying it and for laughing along with me I was reading my comments to my sisters because they honestly were like I don't, I don't think it's that funny I'm like I thought it was hilarious like I literally had such a fun time putting that video together when I was editing I was like <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Shu. Thank you for laughing along with me and I'm glad that it made you laugh as well and hopefully it brightened up your day and if you live alone then hopefully that's kind of like made you appreciate all the 
fun things that we can do with an active imagination, hey? But um, thank you for watching today's vlog, Vlogmas Day 13, and I'll see you in tomorrow's one. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night!